the world's entire wasp population. This feeling I, I can't get rid of, this feeling that someone's been reading my secret diary that I kept in our bedroom because I thought nobody else but us would want to go in there. Except it's not my diary, it's my husband. I'd like you to smear this feeling all over and into her naked body like jam and invite the world's entire wasp population. The sick, the halt, the fuzzy, to enjoy her. I thought it was you. Yeah, I think that's okay enough. Okay. All right, here we go. Love beginnings. They're at that stage where so much desire streams between them, so much frank need and want, so much absorption in the other and the self and the self-admiring entity and unity they make. Her mouth so full, breast so lifted, head thrown back so far in her laughter at his laughter. He so solid, planted, oaky, firm, so resonantly factual in the headiness of being craved so, she almost breathed upon him as they intertwine again, touch again, cheek, lip, shoulder, brow, every glance moving toward the sexual, every glance away soaring back in flame into the sexual, that just to watch them is to feel again that hitching in the groin, that filling of the heart, the old sore heart, the battered, foundered, faithful heart, snorting again, snapping in its stall. Which I wrote after, and rewrote after a serious illness. Uh, the sense of beginning again, the thrill of it, the beauty of it, and the promise of it. Begin again to the caroling birds, to the sight of light at the window. Begin to the roar of morning traffic all along Pembroke Road. Every beginning is a promise born in light and dying in dark. Determination and exultation of springtime flowering the way to work. Begin to the pageant of queuing girls, to the arrogant loneliness of swans in the canal, to bridges linking the past and future, to old friends passing though with us still. It's the loneliness that cannot end, since it perhaps is what makes us begin. Begin to wonder at unknown faces, at crying birds in the sudden rain, at branches stark in the willing sunlight, at seagulls foraging for bread, at couples sharing a sunny secret, alone together while making good. Though we live in a world that dreams of ending, that always seems about to give in, something that will not acknowledge conclusion insists that we forever begin. Thank you. Poem for a Daughter I think I'm going to have it, I said, joking between pains. The midwife rolled competent sleeves over corpulent milky arms. Dear, you never have it. We deliver it. A judgment years proved true. Certainly, I've never had you as you still have me, Caroline. Why does a mother need a daughter? Hearts needle, hostage to fortune, freedom's end. Yet nothing's more perfect than that bleating, razor-shaped cry that delivers a mother to her baby. The blood cord snaps that held their sphere together. The child, tiny and alone, creates the mother. A woman's life is her own until it is taken away by a first particular cry. Then she is not alone, but part of the premises of everything there is, a time, a 
a tribe, a war. When we belong to the world, we become what we are. They say she must be from another country. is isn't just about being from another country or another culture or another color or another religion. It's more to do with feeling different, disagreeing about something and feeling I have the right to speak up about it. They say she must be from another country. When I can't comprehend why they're burning books or slashing paintings, when they can't bear to look at God's own nakedness, when they ban the film and gut the seats to stop the play and I ask why, they just smile and say, she must be from another country. When I speak on the phone and the vowel sounds are off, when the consonants are hard and they should be soft, they'll catch on at once, they'll pin it down, they'll explain it right away to their own satisfaction, they'll cluck their tongues and say, she must be from another country. When my mouth goes up instead of down, when I wear a tablecloth to go to town, when they suspect I'm black or hear I'm gay, they won't be surprised. They'll purse their lips and say, she must be from another country. When I eat up the olives and spit out the pits, when I yawn at the opera and the tragic bits, when I pee in the vineyard as if it were Bombay, flaunting my bare ass, covering my face, laughing through my hands, they'll turn away shake their heads quite sadly. She doesn't know any better, they say. She must be from another country. Maybe there is a country where all of us live. All of us freaks who aren't able to give our loyalty to fat old fools, the crooks and thugs who wear the uniform that gives them the right to wave a flag, puff out their chests, put their feet on our necks and break their own rules. But from where we are, it doesn't look like a country. It's more like the cracks that grow between borders behind their backs. That's where I live. And I'll be happy to say, I never learned their customs. I don't remember their language or know their ways. I must be from another country. I think it would be good fun for you to stand for this one. I'll tell you why. This is the alternative anthem. And I might need your help in this. Even if you don't have any problem, you can stand for this one for me. Pay respect to the alternative anthem. Put the kettle on. Put the kettle on. It is the British answer to Armageddon. Never mind the taxes rise. Never mind trains are late. One thing you can be sure of, and that's the kettle, mate. It's not whether you lose, it's not whether you win, it's whether or not you plug the kettle in. May the kettle ever hiss, may the kettle ever steam. It is the engine that drives our nation's dream. Line by line after me. <coughs> Long live the kettle. Long live the kettle. That rules over us. That rules over us. May it be lime scale free. May it be lime scale free. And may it never rust. And may it never rust. Sing it on the beaches. Sing, Sing it on the beaches. beaches. Sing it from the housetops. Sing it from the housetops. The sun may set on empire. The sun may set on empire. But the kettle never stops. The kettle never stops. Thank you for that.